Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Well, we're here in Long Beach, <clears throat> excuse me, at um, a backyard turf renovation where we took out some old tall fescue grass. I'm going to put in a St. Augustine grass and just want to show you one of the challenges that we came across in the installation process. I use exclusively this irrigation piping and irrigation system known as the Blue Lock irrigation system. Um, it's manufactured by the Hydro Rain Corporation based in Salt Lake City, Utah. You go on online to www.hydrorain.com to learn more about the Blue Lock system, irrigation system. But what we had here was an irrigation problem with the existing pop-ups that were here. We're also doing a retrofit of the actual pop-ups and changing out the old pop-up <coughs> what you see here with uh, a pop-up that we have in stem flow regulation which is what you see right here so we have a pop-up stem that we can replace so any existing pop-ups we can go through and actually retrofit and change this stem out to an in stem flow regulation type of device what we have here these are made and manufactured by the Valvet Systems based in Woodland Hills, California. You can go online to www.valvetsystems.com to learn more about the Little Tuffy and InStem Flow technology, the different components and different um, things that Ted has to offer with his company. And we're also going to retrofit these out with the MP rotators in order to water this turf here in the back. This is a MP800 800 series, so it's gonna go up to like about eight feet. And in this backyard, we don't need a lot of distance of throw. So the MP800 should go well here in the backyard. And with this in-stem flow technology, we're able to control the radius of the water even more. And uh, the flexibility with the MP rotators of a 90 up to like about 270 degree angles, we can really get the angles that we want here. Uh, but this inflow stem technology uh, flow control is really unique because we can really control the radius and be able to save the client water. The combination of the two, the MP rotator and also the uh, little toughy stem replacement, um, well, we should be able to save the client at least about 40 to 45 percent water usage or you know reduced the amount of water they put on this backyard and with St. Augustine it really doesn't take a lot of water anyway it's some more warm season grass so in the winter time here in Southern California um, it goes into a dormant state but it stays kind of green especially if you're here like on the coast where we're working today as you get more inland towards Riverside and uh, places close to the high desert that grass turns brown and they overseed it but getting back to the topic of the blue lock, um, where you see this flag, they had a hit here before and it was not reaching down to the corner down there. That was the only head between this point and the point down there. So we had to take a head down there, a sprinkler head, in order to adequately water over to that corner where that fountain is at, where that converted fountain to a planter bed. And that area actually died, not only from the shade, but also from the lack of water and um, that was one of the reasons why it was so barren looking over there when I first started the project. So what we did is went in and retrofitted, went down to where the pop-up hooked up to the existing irrigation line and put in a blue lock T. We have a, a fitting, a coupling down there, a threaded coupling, and we put on a T, a blue lock T, and these are pressured um, clamp fitting type of like a shark bite type of situation where you push the pipe in and uh, the water pressure once it builds up it holds on to that piping and there's a gasket in there an o-ring gasket that seals off the pipe so it doesn't leak um, then we run our half an inch blue pipe piping down this one is already secured in the ground there's a staple down the bottom but there's some different fittings in order to get the configuration that we need in order to get that pop up down in there and so I wanted to bring that head, this head over to the corner so we have more of a uniform distribution pattern and then run that half an inch tubing down to the end so we can be able to water 
this corner properly and also throw water down to that next head which is down over there but as you can see here this was isn't tied down but we have uh, an elbow on 90 and then we have a little piece of um, half an inch blue lock and then also an elbow with uh, a threaded 90 and what makes this unique is that with this blue lock we have almost what we call like 360 degree flexibility where we can be able to turn that head around and uh, from the standpoint of any kind of broken heads or something like that if somebody was to kick it it's like working as a pivot so we don't have to worry about that but the adjustments and what we need to do the flexibility it's a lot of flexibility when we use the blue lock irrigation system uh professional irrigation system so i can make my adjustments the height wise the pipe is flexible so i can make my height adjustments based on the sidewalk i have in it and if i need to move it any kind of way like that it's a lot more flexibility than dealing with the pvc pipe eventually i'll take a land state staple and anchor it right here so that way we can be able to stabilize that head so it won't move around and then put the dirt back over the top but i just wanted to point this out to you on how and it's very quick in order to make this retrofit rather than gluing and using uh, pvc and waiting for the glue to dry and all that kind of stuff just the flexibility i have with this blue lock system irrigation system makes it worth the extra money to put this in and we're going to go through and retrofit out the rest of these pop-ups there's one here one there one over there and so once i retrofit these all out we'll have uh, what we need from the standpoint of the pattern i've been able to get water out to where we need it in order to adequately water this turf that we're putting in so that's your tip for today go to hydro rain www.hydrorain.com there's kind of a look at the, the sack here it's a male adapter half an inch to show you a little bit of bag what's happening but you go to hydro rain and you'll be able to find out all the information you need to know about the blue lock irrigation professional irrigation system ed wallace tips and ideas www.uniqueenvironments.com here in beautiful long beach california hope that helps you out be sure to hit that like button and uh, hit that bell subscribe share it with your friends Stay tuned for more. Have a fantastic day.